Hey everyone, hope all is well. Welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to talk about uh, a question that a lot of B school students and undergraduate college students end up asking us, which is what all to keep in mind to get a consulting shortlist when they're interviewing on campus. So this is a culmination of my experience at ISB and a culmination of our mentors experience who have completed their MBAs from IMs, ISB, B schools abroad or our mentors and mentees who have completed their UG from Hindu, Hansraj, other DU colleges, colleges across the country. Now I'm going to talk about what ingredients uh, should be there in your consulting CV for you to land a shortlist on campus. On campus simply means a recruiter is visiting your college for their on campus hiring drive, let's say a McKinsey or an Accenture or a BCG or a EY. So what all should you work towards in the first two years of college or for an MBA, the first one and a half years of college for you to increase the likelihood of getting hired? The first thing that you should definitely focus on is academics, right? Be it uh, your MBA CGPA, be it your percentage in college, in undergrad. That's typically the first filter that recruiters look at. So. Uh, an 8.5 plus GPA, let's say in undergrad, or if it's MBA, then uh, a nine ish CGPA, or if it's out of four, then a 3.8 uh, really, really helps. Uh, in terms of percentile, you can try to target a GPA, which is top 10 percentile. So whatever your marks are in terms of relative estimation, you should try to be in the top 10 percentile of your class and the department. That's one thing because uh, that's the most natural uh, proxy of you know you being consistent, which is your academics. So a lot of companies visit campuses, they sort your uh, credentials in descending order in terms of GPA, and then they try to see uh, who has done well, and then they do a shortlist. Now that being said, that's not the only filter, right? So I've had multiple batchmates, mentees who interviewed on campus, but they did not have uh, good GPAs. Why? Because there are two more sections apart from academics, which are looked at. The second is uh, so the second thing that you should focus on is case competitions, right? So there are a lot of corporates like Flipkart, HUL, uh, ITC that keep on organizing case competitions, which are open uh, for B school students. And some of them are open for undergraduate college students as well. So you can go to unstop which was uh, previously called Dare to Compete. Uh, you can Google the name and you can find a lot of case competitions and you can form teams with friends and participate, right? So uh, just giving you my example, uh, I tried to really work hard in terms of academics uh, at ISB. I got a rank eight out of broadly 700 students and that really helped me in getting a uh, shortlist on campus. And uh, for case competitions, I experimented a lot. I tried to see which team fits well for which kind of a competition. And uh, I was uh, able to get in, into the top 10 or national finalist positions for competitions like HUL and Flipkart. And that definitely is a very good CV pointer if you're applying for consulting roles, because that signals that you're someone who likes to solve problems because case competitions are nothing but you getting a practical glimpse of a real life business problem or strategy problem. So second thing is case comps that you should focus on. Lastly, these firms, be it the big four or the big three or Dahlberg or Accenture, they really, really value somebody who has led teams before, somebody who can signal leadership potential. Now there are multiple ways to signal this. The easiest way to go about it, if you haven't done it before, is to take part in student clubs, right? So you can try to become the president or the vice president of your favorite club. Let's say you are interested in debating, so you can try for that. Or let's say if you come from a finance background when you're entering business school, so you can try for the finance club. I uh, contested for the entrepreneurship club. When I entered business school, I became the president. And that again became a very impactful a uh, resume pointer for me. Uh, so there are multiple ways to signal that you're good at something. One thing can be academics. Another thing can be 
case competitions which really uh, influence the recruiter's decision to hire you at least when you're in business school and the last is leadership potential which can be from prior work ex you having led teams in an internship in your previous work or if you haven't done that or if you feel that that is not very powerful then you can intentionally try to augment that leadership potential and showcase it on the cv by taking part in student clubs and becoming the vice president or president of that club because that will give you a lot of space to talk about bullet pointers like you know led teams uh, organize the annual fest engage with recruiters if you're part of the placement cell so that's how you go about it it applies identically for ug students uh, ug students should also keep academics in mind that's the top most priority second is case competition so a lot of ug students specifically in delhi university because that's where i completed my undergrad they keep on participating in strategy competitions finance competitions mock stock competitions simulations so you should try to do that and win uh, in some good competitions from du or elsewhere and the last is try to join a student club and become the coordinator or uh, the leader or the lead or the vice president president because that really pans out well later on when you are applying for consulting roles now before i conclude there is a caveat in that right so firstly you don't need to be good at everything even if you're good at academics and if you can showcase consistency in that which is i was good in academics in 10th 12th and now college that's great if you can showcase leadership potential in terms of you having led teams in work or in an internship or a student club in undergrad and now you're leading it again in business school that's again a spike uh, or case competitions as well i'll never say try to become good at everything that's humanly not possible you'll not be able to sleep but pick one section and become really good at that while managing the other two right so that's one thing and secondly i talked about on campus hiring in this video now you would have seen and i have seen a lot of people who don't have very good marks and they still get through and who don't have a lot of uh, case competitions on their cv or they haven't led a club in ug or business school and they still get a shortlist there is another route to get hired which is off campus laterally where people try to send their cv to the hr's desk through referrals and other mechanisms and they can get through but what i covered in my video is ingredients to keep in mind or things to look out for if you're applying for a consulting role on campus when a firm is visiting your college to hire so i hope this uh, helps you out and all the best for the placement season